Hi, Bill Dolivera here, Pro Staff. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble and produce a Colorado spinner. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make the simple Colorado spinners. Now basically it's made out of swivels, split rings, and a sidewash hook. The blades can be Colorado, or you can go willow leaf, uh, various colors, various sizes. The advantage of a non-weighted spinner is when you drift, you can control the level that it is by pulling back on your float this will avoid the unit from getting snagged on the bottom. Okay. Whereas often you're using weighted spinners, um, the chances of a snag on, on water structure is, is quite high. So here I, I have not lost one yet and I've caught quite a few uh, steelhead and salmon um, higher up in the water column so it also allows you to short float so you can go up maybe um, a foot, two foot here you can see uh, the assembly. Here's the back side. And here's the face. You have two sides, convex and concave. The uh, concave, the hook is on the concave side. So that's the side that dips in. The convex is the side that dips out. Okay, And then you'll get a proper spin. Um, use high grade swivels. Uh, these are actually saltwater swivels and they have a lot more movement so there will be less line twisting. The tools you'll need will be um, swivels, split ring, the blade, the various blades you want to use, sidewash hooks and the reason why I use sidewash hooks because you could use a normal straight eye hook but I find that the eye is a lot larger on a side wash so it gives you better movement and tool wise you'll need a pliers. These are specialized pliers you'll see the the tip here it allows you to separate the split ring for easy insertion of the swivel or the blade. Without one of these You'll be using your nail, I'll tell you, it's not easy to do.